is a math teacher in Riverside, California. So she's facing um, a bit of a, a fallout from her teaching practices when it comes to trying to help the students learn uh, their math lesson. Um, maybe it's a memory thing. There's always there's always a, a teaching tools or learning tools you jump into to make sure that the kids really figure out what you're talking about. And she's taking it to an entirely new level. Um, let's just watch. So Sokotoa. Okay, well, let's first. Sokotoa. Apparently, um, Sokotoa oh, is man. what she chanted wow. over and over and over <laughs> and then over again. Um, apparently, it's a way, to, the common way, it's a common way to remember for all you mathematicians out there. It's a common way for people to remember the trigonomic function, sine, cosine, and a tangent. I remember those. I remember that stuff. I, I, <coughs> I've never had a teacher do this. Um, you know, I'm not going to take y'all shot. I want you. <laughs> Did you guys experience this when you were in high school? This middle school or high school? But Soka Toa, uh, by the way, that was an edited video. It went on much longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, I, I, I do remember learning, you know, the the Soka Toa. Uh, my teacher did it in a a far less racist way. <laughs> she actually just took her shoe off, which is not, you know, the best thing in the world. But she sticks her big toe up. She's like Soka a Toa, and I remember that image. And I'm not ever going to forget Sokotoa <laughs> because of that. And I didn't have to have this horrific production to remember that. I've got my own horrible imagery with that. But here's the thing that gets me. I was looking into this more today and apparently this isn't the first time this has happened. Mm -hmm. There's a yearbook photo from several years ago of her doing this. So this is clearly what I'm assuming to be a yearly thing that she does. So this is an every year and only just now. And now they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll put her on leave while we get to the bottom of this. There is no way in hell every single person in that school didn't know that she does this every year. And that includes the faculty. What do kids do? Just like we talked about with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Liz Shea, they talk. They go out in the halls after class and they, I guess, have been for years saying, holy crap, you're not gonna believe what we just saw. <laughs> it was Sokotoa day and she did her thing. Everybody at that school had to have known about this. And the fact that they're only doing something about it now that she got caught, this goes to the administration. There is something needs to be done with them. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny because I'm actually somebody who doesn't believe that. I feel like you should do something really, really horrible in order to lose your job, right? Um, I'm pretty consistent on that. Like, I would like to see this lady, you know, slap a suspension on her. Obviously, you should never, be, never be able to do this again and move on. But you're right, though. The administration, the powers that be, man, they're the ones who have to be at fault here. This person was doing this in her curriculum for years. And nobody checked this and just said, "Oh, this is cool. We're empowering you to go out and make a complete of yourself <laughs> in front of your students. Like, how can you do this in front of a group of kids and expect them to ever take you serious again? Like, this is, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It, I'm, it's honestly, I'm trying to she, figure she out. She probably thinks she's the go, cool, go, fun go. teacher. Now, I've been trying to figure out because anytime I've ever contemplated the things that teachers have to go through in order to connect with their classrooms, especially as kids get older. Again, this looks like a high school class. I'm not sure which level you learn sine, cosine, and tangents, but I think it's high school, um, at least to this degree. And 
you have to make sure that you connect with your class or maybe make sure that they are paying attention, whatever it is that she's thinking she's doing. You then have to, third parties, you have to read the room. And the first thing I felt that entire time watching it was, man, everybody in this classroom is very, very uncomfortable. And they're all stopping. One kid put his head down when she was behind him, sitting on the, uh, standing on a table in the back of the room. He had his head down once he realized that he was, I think he noticed that the student that was filming was next to him. And he's like, I don't want my face on this video that's about, that's about to go viral. But they just didn't want to be there. And if you're over there screaming so could Toa and you have this head, this, I, I'm, I'm, I can't even call it what she thought it was. But so you have this cardboard feather wrap around your head and she's dancing around the classroom. And I guess it's supposed to be funny so you can remember it, sure. And Waz, I think you pointed out, you said something like, you know, you're not big on like fire, fire, fire immediately. I, I'm, I'm leaning that direction only because a lot of people do think this is fine. And I think progress comes from people figuring it out and learning about it. If she figures out and learns about it and then has and then goes through the process of seeing where her blind spots are, her racist blind spots are, let's keep it real, then she gets a chance to better herself. As you point out, fans, she does this all the time. It's in the yearbook. People know this about her. This needs to not become, hey, remember that one time that uh, Miss Reed used to do all this? Yeah, she stopped doing that because, you know. She had to learn about herself. And that'll make everything better. I'm not everything, not, it's not gonna eliminate what happened, but at least make it better as far as going forward. We need to pro, uh, progress this, even this particular school here and make sure that this type of stuff doesn't happen anymore. Now people may go, oh man, what's the problem? It's just like uh, she's trying to teach them something and maybe it's a little ill-advised, but it didn't really hurt anyone. So there's a Native American student who filmed this. Uh, and in this video, in his math class, after several minutes of the teacher war hooping and tomahawk chalking, that particular student began filming and he said that he felt that violence was being committed against him and he had a right to record. Now again, you may not think violence was being committed against him, but think about his background, think about the way we treat and think about Native Americans and indigenous people anywhere. And then how this has, has been reduced down to this teacher jumping around screaming, Soka Toa to get you to remember. Well, the one thing that did work, they're not gonna forget. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's you know, a and, and you know what, too? Part of the problem as well. <clears throat> I was watching the opening of a Kansas City Chiefs uh football game where they freaking like they bang a gong and the whole damn yeah. crowd of white people in unison is 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 doing Native American stuff and they're tomahawk chopping and they're doing like this is what we do with indigenous people's culture here in America, right? Like, you know, and people don't have a sensitivity to the the mass, you know, death and murder and pillaging that, you know, was committed against these people. Uh, that's just out in the greater culture. We don't take this stuff serious. So I kind of understand why this woman thought this was cool. Like, just go to a Braves game. And yeah. these fools is oh, doing the whole freaking thing. It's craziness. It, it really is kind of shocking how much of that is apparently just acceptable. In America today, because you talk about it at the Braves game, the Chiefs games. You know, we have it down here in Florida at the, you know, Same. FSU Seminoles mm -hmm. games. You've got the Cleveland Indians. I mean, hell, the Washington football team <laughs> can't even come up with a name now that they can't <laughs> call themselves the Redskins. They're just like us. F it, we're a football team, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's how like just kind of acceptable it is, and and people don't think about it when they're doing it. So. You know, I, I like how you pointed out, you know, the blind spots of racism, which is what I think this is. I don't think this woman probably goes home at night and is like, ha, I stuck it to the indigenous people today. That, totally. No, she probably thought, hey, cool, I'm gonna be fun, I'm gonna be out there, I'm the Kirsten Cinema of the high school here, and I'm gonna do these fun <laughs> things. And and really everybody's just like, could you could you not? You know, you're you're offending the student who's doing the filming. You know, a lot of the other students afterward were reported feeling exceptionally uncomfortable, you know, not wanting to even look at this. And another thing just to point out is it's not just that she does this every year. If this is a high school or middle school teacher, she teaches this class, what, probably four or five times a day? 
Man. So if she's doing this, you know, how many times had she already done this dance that day? How many more times did she do it after the film? And how many times has she done it throughout the course of her career? This isn't just once a year, it's four times, five times, maybe even seven times per year that she's doing this thing and it has to stop. So if we could, you know, if she can go through some training and the administration needs to go through it too, because again, I think they knew about this and did nothing till they got caught. Put them through some trainings, give them some more education, let them understand why this is inappropriate. Probably don't need to fire anybody because again, I don't think it's ingrained in, in a deep seated hatred for these people. Right. I think it comes from a place of misunderstanding. Yeah, it's it's it, it's more about the history of where we come from in this country. And you know, there's this crusade against critical race theory that's not being taught in schools that they say is being taught in schools. But one of the one of the aspects of what would be learned is that these types of things have a history. The type of way we approach and talk about certain folks has an effect. It has an effect right now. You can say, "Oh man, we've gone so far since the days of slavery. We've gone so far since the days of completely trying to wipe out indigenous folks on this land. But we don't learn about it, we don't talk about it, we don't acknowledge it. If you don't do any of those things, you don't get better. You don't figure these things out. And then people like Miss Reed, will be going, well, what's the big deal? I mean, you know, I mean, I was watching the Braves game and they were doing it and there was nobody going crazy. I mean, as you mentioned, all of these teams do their versions of this stuff and nobody does anything. Now, you'll get a, people, a few people who will complain and they'll go, oh, those guys just aren't sports fans. They're a bunch of tree hugging libs. They just like to complain about something and we move on. And then it results in things like this. Yes, we're a society, everything connects to each other. So no, you can't just say, oh yeah, that's just sports fans doing their thing, they're having fun. No, it leads to more and more things. And next, you know, people have detrimental or, or, or negative opinions about certain folks they've never, ever met in their lives. I wonder if she even knows that the student that was recording that whole thing that's put on blast now is what their background really is and why it could affect them and how it could affect them. Never crossed her mind because she never had to before. These folks aren't that important to our society, so therefore not that important to her. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.